So I recently had a brother tell me to check out a, a video. I believe it's called American Gospel, Christ Alone. And I didn't watch the video itself, but I did watch uh, several trailers on the video. And it shows a lot of the, um, the problem with the church. It shows how there's so many people that are, you know, I'm not saying they are, but supposedly they're all about the money, they're all about the success, they're all about the health, wealth, prosperity, gospel, and whether that is or isn't true, to me, it, 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 it creates and enhances the division. And Jesus prayed, you know, Father, let them be one as we are one. I know you're my disciples, but I love you, have one towards another. And what I'm seeing in my heart, what I'm feeling in my spirit, where I'm really feeling the Lord is, is calling myself and my family to go, is it's not about calling out necessarily the things that are wrong if you are not doing the things that are right. You know, I quoted a scripture out of Peter uh, to the brother and said, you know, there's a scripture where Jesus, where Peter says, always be prepared to give a reason or a defense for the hope that is within you so that your good conduct cannot be spoken um, bad against. You know, like your behavior be that of Christ. And, and I look at Christ and I'm thinking, Hold up a second. He didn't stand up. I mean, he did check the Pharisees. He did. I'm not going to say he didn't. He checked them often, as well as the Sadducees and, and the legalists, the lawyers. Um, but he reached out with the love of God to the broken, to the oppressed, to the people that these leaders were oppressing. Jesus lifted up to the ones that these leaders were taking advantage of. Jesus gave mercy to. And I think that our greatest example we can give is not how much we can curse one another, how much we can defame one another, or how much we can prove to the world how jacked up Christianity and Christians are. I think what we really can do is show them how amazing our God is. Have you forgotten that it was the goodness of God that led you, that drew you to repentance? came to his own and his own received him not but to them that did receive him to them that did he gave them the right the authority to become children sons and daughters of God to them that would believe in his name so you know what to you out there if you are a person in a later leadership position or something like that I would ask you please allow the conviction of the Holy Spirit to penetrate into your heart and if you're a person out there who's just causing division and dissension I rebuke that in the name of Jesus and I say please be free to live out the truth of the gospel the message of the gospel is the good news for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ so what I want to be remembered for is how I loved with the love of Christ and I'm trusting that the word is true when it says perfect love cast out fear for God has not given you the spirit of fear but a power love and a sound mind faith hope and love abide faith hope and charity abide but all of these things the greatest of them is love God bless you one love